Taking a shot on the basketball court, a Fitchburg State player hits a Nichols College freshman hard with an elbow to the face. Tonight, that Fitchburg State player is off the team and banned from campus. Ken McLeod's in Fitchburg, where the school is calling the player's actions appalling. Two Division III schools not necessarily known for their basketball prowess are getting national attention tonight for a now viral video clip from Tuesday's game. Fellow students at Fitchburg State were not very forgiving. Oh, it's absolutely terrible. Glad he's out. He's talking about the basketball game here last night when Fitchburg's Kiwan Platt flattened Nate Tenaglia of Nichols with a seemingly unprovoked forearm to the face just a second after the victim sank a late three-pointer in a Nichols win. Yeah, it's just one incident. I don't think it's really reflecting the school as a whole. Despite his glance to see if the nearby ref was looking, Platt was kicked out of the game. Today, Fitchburg State said it was appalled by the conduct displayed and Platt had been indefinitely suspended from the team and barred from camp. It's definitely severe, but also what he did was severe. Fans at the game say Platt was mad that Tenaglia wasn't called for a foul on this play moments earlier when Platt's three pointer missed badly. On the Nichols campus tonight, the victim declined our interview request through friends, but other students had little mercy for the accused. I just can't believe he did it. Not good sportsmanship at all. It looked like it was pretty unwarranted. <laughs> he can laugh about it now because even though Tenaglia went down hard, he was okay and actually kept playing. But the video has blown up on social media, with some urging forgiveness for a heated moment of poor judgment and others demanding even tougher punishment. I mean, let me put it this way like, it's a game. We're told campus police are now looking into the incident, and the league has rescinded a Player of the Week award it just gave to Kiwan Platt. In Fitchburg, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.